call this meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order uh, on this 10th day of April 2018 at 5.02 p.m. Uh, I'm going to ask Sam Small to lead us in a prayer and pledge the flag. Back here. Most gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come to you tonight, Lord. We just thank you for all the blessings you have bestowed upon us, the county and its individuals. Lord Jesus, we just thank you for allowing us here to come and meet another day. Lord Jesus, we just ask that you would be with every decision made here tonight. Lord, we just ask that you would bless all these here and watch over and take care of them. And forgive us when we fail you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Allegiance, Allegiance to the flag, flag of the United, United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, under God indivisible, with, with liberty, liberty and justice for all. Before you have the minutes of the March 27th meeting, do I have a motion to approve? So motion by Sam Small. Second. Second by Larry Cowan. Right, is there any discussion, corrections, or additions? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Before you, you have the bills, claims, payments, and transfers, including a, a pretty significant late list. Uh, I need a motion to approve that. So moved. Motion by Larry Cowan. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Discussion? Well, is there any transfers on the late bills or anything? No. No transfers okay. on the late. Okay. Uh, you just go ahead and roll call. Count? No. Morphew? Yes. Small? Yes. Bullock? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Um, before you, you have the March 2018 Treasurer's Report. We need to acknowledge that we got it. I make a motion to acknowledge the treasurer's report. Motion with Jason Bullock. Second. Again. Second by Larry Cowan. Is there any discussion or questions for the treasurer? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Polls like sign. Motion carry. Best not here. Do you have the clerk's report? Yeah. Okay. Y'all have the clerk's report. Uh, we need to acknowledge that we've got that so we can file it. So moved. Motion by Sam Small. Second. Who seconded? I do. Joe Barnes. Any any discussion or questions? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, the next item, the road, we decided we're not ready for it because we've got to get with some 911 addressing to make sure what name we're going to call it. Uh, so um, that's going to be tabled till the next meeting. Um, do we have any any uh, committee reports? We're at the Animal Shelter Committee. It's going to be ordinance committee is going to meet one more time and it's not for sure but i think we're going to do it at three o'clock three thirty on thursday usually it's wednesday but i have doctor's appointment tomorrow so we're going to move it to thursday and i'm hoping that's going to be our last meeting and we'll be able to bring something to the court uh let's put it on the agenda for the next meeting and okay. from to make a report on from the animal control committee and that will be the end of that committee that's not a standing committee it was a special purpose committee and that will dissolve it at the end of that time um, let's go to uh, magistrate's uh, requests and comments let's go to uh, Sam Small Jason Joe yeah we got a couple things okay Walt, do we get that all figured out on the fire hydrant out there? We're still working on it. Huh? 
you were going to try to reach Joel. We never could get him to give us the approval well, of the cost. Well, last time I talked to you, you said that uh, I thought Michael Brown or something. <clears throat> Michael's the one who come to me and said he couldn't get Joel to do it, and that's when I called you. Okay. So I thought I, I would wait to see if you could talk to Joel. Please okay. Please, 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 please. Okay, I'll follow up on that. Because weather's getting to where I just want to tell the judge too. Uh, yeah. The others that we've got a schedule to try to get that one in. <clears throat> Uh, that's a yeah. Got that away this week or early next week, and we'll get that one so we can do okay on the We're ready to roll. Okay. okay. Uh, Judge, I got a surplus request on a uh, 48 inch X mark from the park. Deem it a surplus. Okay. I'll second that motion. Been no discussion. Any discussion about it? <coughs> if not, everybody in favor say aye. Uh, opposed? Motion carries. Declared surplus. Bo will give you the serial numbers. Right, Bo? Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, Larry. Uh, yes, just, just <coughs> one item. Um, we currently have four roads that's uh, been closed in the county, and, and I was just wondering if there's any FEMA money. I know a couple weeks ago we decided to put so much money on a road. But I'm, I'm asking to see if uh, there's any monies out there, emergency monies from the state or whatever, so that we can get them back open. Uh, there is tentatively. Uh, Charlie's not here. Keith, uh, didn't you have an estimated amount that that's going to be from FEMA? I don't have it. Okay. It's a significant amount of money, and yes, it should fix them. But we're not waiting on them to try to get them opened up so people get through them, though. We want to at least get to the point where anybody can travel those roads. And we're going to do the necessary paperwork then in case they do come through. Oh, yeah, the they're working on that every day. Okay. And the FEMA guys have been here twice, and they're coming back soon. Yeah. Yeah. I know my road, road it's That's been closed. Okay. There. What is the status of the Cool Springs road that... Uh... I had them down here today from uh, uh, Schultztown. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. I had them down here today from the state, and they brought the new engineer from Madisonville, a lady, come out with them. They were here today. <coughs> we was talking about it, and uh, they're going to hammer Frankfurt for a, an answer. It was promised to us verbally, but the guy that promised us went home some way, whether it's on his own uh, idea or not, but that put it back. But, but the governor's contact person for transportation was here today as well as the new engineer from Madisonville and we are back on it hot trying to they get an answer. supposed to let us know something the first of uh, April. Yes, it? better than that. They actually promised it to us. Okay. That's all I have. But it hasn't come. Okay. I've got something here. Uh, I'm going to give you tonight a copy of the budget that we've been working on for two and a half months. The draft that we have at this point. And uh, uh, and I, at this time, I want to also schedule a budget workshop for this coming Monday night at 4 o'clock. Can you, everybody make it? 4 o'clock this coming Monday. That's the... What day of the month is that? 19, 17th, 19th. 16th. 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 This Monday, the 16th at 4 o'clock, we're having a budget workshop in the fiscal courtroom. And... Uh, I will see that you, uh, I'm, I'm going to buy y'all dinner that night. So, and uh, I will be calling you on suggestions for what you want. But to now I'm going to give it to you, then I've got a talk that goes with it. Can you hand Larry his? Yes, I sure can. And this is yours. Okay. Uh, this is your budget that reaches the uh, our guidelines. We're actually a few weeks early. Uh, I had to present this to you by the uh, end of the month, or actually the first of May, and uh, so we beat that timetable some, and we'll have at least one budget workshop under our uh, belt before then. 
Um, it was a tough budget in a way. But then in another way, it was good that we were able to balance it. We had enough money to do everything. Uh, the uh, uh, $2 million coal severance cut, as well as the mandate by the state that we put in uh, 283000 62, yeah. $262,000 extra for retirement for all departments. It was tough, but we were able to do it. Uh, it doesn't cut any department, but each department does look into side it has to pay its own retirement. So uh, that's, uh, that's the way we balanced the budget. There was no new money or reserve money to do more than that. At least nobody was cut. Uh, there were no increases in department budgets because uh, of our shortfall in income. We also was actually even short on the uh, money we got from the Armstrong coal miners. We were short on that as well as we were uh, all the other uh, funds that we got. Uh, but we were good. We're better than a lot of uh, counties. There was three county judges. It was with me yesterday at the governor's office that asked for extensions on this deadline that we just gave you because they think they cannot budget. They have no way they can balance their budget under these terms. Uh, and of course the uh, deal is we're still hoping that there's something that the state's going to do to give us some relief on the retirement and maybe to give us our co-severance money back. Uh, our visit to the governor's office yesterday was on the co-severance money. Uh, it made the House's budget, they passed the House. The governor's proposal had it in it, very generous to us. Both of those did. The Senate budget took us out. Then the budget went to conference between the Senate and the House, and they ended up passing the Senate's version of it, which cuts us out on code severance on the project side. The LGEDF, it's called. And then... Uh, we did go and uh, was, was went to Frankfurt to ask the governor to line item veto the co-severance money, which would mean we had it if he line item vetoed it from the uh, from the Senate budget. But on our way up there, he he uh, vetoed the whole blame thing. The entire budget's vetoed. So he urged us, the governor did, to uh, urge our uh, representatives and senators to not override the veto. If they override the veto, that's nothing done to help us with our pensions, and there's nothing done to get our co-severance money back. Said if it goes back to, uh, he has to have a special session, for three, a three-day special session, to do the budget again, and that time he assured us that our co-severance money be back in there and the phase-in for the retirement, which would be a great relief to us. So uh, that's just my talk to tell you, uh, presenting the budget. I'm really proud we were able to present one that is balanced. And uh, like I said, we're way ahead of the game right now. Uh, next thing on the agenda, are there any citizens' con uh, comments for the good of the body? Good, I have a question on the budget. Are those amounts that we have that you showed us that we were going to get cut? No, no sir, uh, Sheriff, there's no cut. So those line items? No, what, what I showed you didn't represent a cut. It represented where you had to pay more of your retirement. So you're, you're telling me I've got to take that 60000 I've got to find that in my budget somewhere to take out. So that is a cut for me. No, no, sir, it's not a cut. You're still getting the same subsidy from fiscal court. So that, that amount has increased in my budget? No, sir. We, you, the subsidy you got from the fiscal court is the same as it was last year. Okay. And the, but your expenses are more. So that's 60000 that, that I need to come up with will come out of one of my lines. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So how can you consider that not to be a cut? Uh, because we, didn't cut your, we did not cut the amount that we subsidized Sheriff's Office. So you increased me 19% well, actually, we didn't increase it. The state, uh, the state uh, legislature did. But that burden comes back on my 
Yes, because it comes back on all of us. It come on. It came on every department the same way. I'm sorry. Every department had the same exact issue. So everybody will take that increase and that cut. It's not a cut. So it's within. They'll take the increase within their payments. Yes, but they're not actually being cut revenue from fiscal court. We'll have to absorb. Let me call it absorbing that. How's that? That that would be fair. Well, you're absorbing it. It's not really short. It's just you've got the extra expense to pay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, your revenue's not cut, but your expenditures has gone up. Yeah. Oh, that's good for the body. This meeting is adjourned. I will see you, gentlemen, at uh, Monday. Monday. Well, you want for supper?